for a young person to come into a foster placement is just major and so for any young person that sort of like survives that and, and gets on with life it's just amazing. You can actually see just the relief on their faces for being in a wonderful foster placement. We've got one young person in placement that didn't have a very clear understanding of his um, past history and why he came into care and we've done a really good piece of work with him um, that has enabled him to understand some of the reasons why he came into care and um, helped to dispel some of the misconceptions that he had. At least two very, very successful parent-child placements that uh, we've had this year. Um, one where the um, young lady and her baby are actually moving on into independence as we speak. There's four children in our area who has been nominated for social service awards through the progress that they've made while they've been in our care, so I'm proud of that. She's joined college this year, which is a real big achievement, I think, for any young person to go on to further education. A young lady who's now in year seven, um, and she has made four full levels of progress from key stage one to key stage two. She's very into horses and riding, and has her own ponies at the foster carers, and has gone to lots of pony club shows, competitions, and has won rosettes in some of them. Kids get into mainstream school that they said they wouldn't be able to have been in mainstream schools again. Um, kids going for makeovers and rebuilding their self-esteem and self-confidence, things like that. Um, I've got um, a day's work experience in an airport with one of the young people and a, a port and a dock. Um, even kids that have been studying um, cues having panic attacks about wearing jeans and stuff and then you know the next week I see them they've got a new pair of jeans on. One of our step down kids, um, he's just done fantastically on the programme and he's, we're now looking at moving him on onto a mainstream placement. Yeah, it's sad that placements have ended but they've had really good outcomes because uh, a number of our children have moved on to their forever homes with adoption. There's a young man who was placed with some carers in the Hampshire area who was really troubled and was really at last chance saloon. They turned his life around and then recently I've had an email to say that he's become a father. So that's just fantastic news, really positive and a really good outcome. One of our young people moved on to university so that's absolutely incredibly good, that's really well done and uh, we have a lot of young people um, engaging in, in participation so it's good to see young people on interview panels. One young lady that came and interviewed with me um, to, for a session of work and just seeing how much she's progressed in her, um, in her placement, in her life and she was just amazing on the interview so I felt really proud of her. Now we're, getting, we're seeing now young people being more involved with the company and shaping the company which is where we really want to be.